This lesson is provided by Dr. Keshav Narain. Are you afraid you could be losing your sight and not even know it? You need to watch this if you struggle with noticing changes in your vision. Glaucoma is called the silent thief of sight because it steals vision slowly and painlessly, often without warning. By the time you notice problems, like bumping into things or struggling in low light, you may have already lost up to 40% of your vision. Traditional methods for detecting glaucoma are missing too many people, leaving millions unaware of the damage happening inside their eyes. Glaucoma is a leading cause of irreversible blindness, and half of those affected don't even know they have it. We need a smarter, more sensitive approach, one that can catch the earliest signs before it's too late. This new era in glaucoma detection is about shifting from reacting to damage to preventing it altogether. Let's explore how we can finally outsmart this silent thief. Most glaucoma screenings rely on two main tests, measuring eye pressure with a puff of air, a procedure known as tonometry, and mapping your peripheral vision with a visual field test. These are the standard tools used in clinics around the world, and for decades, they've been the backbone of glaucoma detection. The visual field test checks how well you can see objects off to the side, helping doctors spot areas where vision may be fading. It's a crucial part of the process, but it has its limitations. The problem, these tests only find damage after it's already happened. By the time a patient fails a visual field test or shows high pressure, the disease may have been silently progressing for years. By the time blank spots show up on a visual field test, many optic nerve cells are already lost, damage that can't be reversed. This means patients may already have significant vision loss before anyone realizes there's a problem. Eye pressure is a risk factor, but not the whole story. Many people with high pressure never get glaucoma, while others lose vision with normal pressure. This makes diagnosis tricky and sometimes misleading. Some patients are told they're fine because their pressure is normal, yet they continue to lose vision. Others are treated aggressively for high pressure, even if they might never develop the disease. Relying on these old tests means some people are overtreated, taking medications or undergoing procedures they may not need, while others slip through the cracks entirely, missing out on early intervention that could save their sight. Normal tension glaucoma, where vision fades despite normal pressure, is often missed. This form of the disease is especially sneaky, as it doesn't fit the classic profile. The old model focuses on clues that can be misleading, leaving a huge gap in early detection. Many cases go unnoticed until it's too late to prevent vision loss. We need to move beyond just measuring pressure and start looking for the earliest signs of nerve trouble before vision is lost. That's where new technology comes in, offering hope for earlier, more accurate detection and a better chance to protect sight for years to come. Think of your optic nerve as a bridge made of thousands of delicate interconnected cables, each one responsible for carrying vital visual information from your eyes to your brain. Just like a suspension bridge, every cable must work together to keep the structure strong and functioning. If even a few cables start to weaken, the entire bridge can become unstable and the flow of information is disrupted. Eye pressure is like the traffic moving across that bridge. When there's too much traffic or pressure, it can strain and even damage the cables. But sometimes, the bridge is vulnerable for reasons that have nothing to do with traffic. Maybe the materials are aging, or there's hidden rust weakening the structure from within. In normal tension glaucoma, the cables can fail even when the traffic is perfectly normal, simply because the bridge itself is more fragile or susceptible to damage. This means that even people with normal eye pressure can develop serious problems if their optic nerve is inherently weaker. The pressure test is just like a traffic counter. It only tells us how many cars are crossing, not whether the bridge is rusting, cracking, or about to fail. It's a useful tool, but it doesn't give us the full picture of the bridge's health. That's why people can pass their annual eye exams and still lose vision. Traditional tools often miss the early, invisible damage that's happening beneath the surface. The bridge might look fine from the outside, but inside, the cables could be fraying and weakening, putting everything at risk. To truly protect our vision, 
We need to check the health of the bridge itself, not just count the traffic. That means looking deeper, examining the actual structure of the optic nerve and its fibers. New technology now allows us to assess the function and integrity of optic nerve cells before they die, giving us a chance to spot trouble early, sometimes even before symptoms appear. It's like having an engineer test each cable individually, searching for the first signs of weakness. This gives us an early warning system, so we can act before any real damage is done. This shift in how we detect glaucoma is crucial. By focusing on the true health of the optic nerve, we can catch the disease before it's too late, giving people a better chance to protect their vision for years to come. The future of glaucoma diagnosis is about measuring function, not just structure. For decades, eye doctors have relied on images and scans to look for physical changes in the optic nerve. But by the time these changes are visible, some damage may already be done. That's why the next frontier is understanding how well your optic nerve is actually working, long before you notice any symptoms. Tests like Visual Evoked Potential VEP, and Electroretinogram ERG, Listen to the electrical signals between your eye and brain. These advanced tests go beyond what we can see on a scan, capturing the real-time communication happening inside your visual system. With VEP, you look at a flashing screen while sensors measure how quickly your brain responds. Delays can reveal early nerve stress. Even tiny slowdowns in response time can be the first sign that your optic nerve is under pressure, long before vision fades. ERG focuses on retinal ganglion cells the first to be affected by glaucoma, measuring their electrical output when stimulated by light. By tracking these signals, doctors can detect subtle dysfunction in the cells that carry visual information to your brain. These tests can spot trouble before you notice any vision loss. Early detection means we can act before the disease progresses, giving you the best chance to preserve your sight for years to come. If nerve cells are struggling, we can intervene early, sometimes saving them before permanent damage occurs. This proactive approach can make all the difference, offering hope where there was once uncertainty. This is a game changer. We're moving from detecting damage to preventing it. With these new tools, eye care is becoming more personalized and precise than ever before. Early intervention can mean simple treatments or lifestyle changes that protect your sight. Sometimes, just a small adjustment in medication or daily habits can keep your optic nerve healthy. Functional testing gives us a real-time look at your eye health. It's like having a window into how your vision is working right now, not just what it looks like on a static image. It's the difference between reacting to loss and stopping it before it starts. By listening to your optic nerve, we can help ensure your vision stays clear and strong for the future. Meet Sarah, who always passed her eye exams but worried because of her family history. Her pressure and visual field tests were normal, but a VEP test revealed her optic nerve was under stress before any vision loss. With early treatment and lifestyle changes, Sarah's nerve function returned to normal within a year. She avoided her mother's fate, not by luck, but by catching the problem at the cellular level. This technology let her act before it was too late. Sarah's story shows the power of early detection and intervention. Science now lets us see the invisible and protect vision in ways never before possible. Early action can save sight for life. Your eyes are more than just windows to the world. They're windows to your overall health. The optic nerve depends on a healthy blood supply. So conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, or sleep apnea can put your vision at risk. Sometimes glaucoma isn't just about eye pressure but about the health of your entire vascular system. Nutrition matters too. Leafy greens, colorful fruits, and omega-3s help protect your optic nerve, while unhealthy diets increase risk. Eye health is whole body health. A delayed VEP signal could be an early sign of a bigger systemic issue. Advanced eye exams can catch not just glaucoma, but other health problems early. Your eyes are talking. Modern technology finally lets us listen. We're at a turning point in the fight against blindness. For the first time, we can detect glaucoma at the cellular level and act before vision is lost. The technology is here, now it's up to you to use it. Ask your eye doctor about functional testing, especially if you have risk factors or a family history. 
Don't settle for just a pressure check. Insist on tests that measure optic nerve health. Share this knowledge with your loved ones. You could help save someone's sight. The future of eye care is proactive and personalized. Don't wait for vision loss to appear. Take control of your eye health now. Protect your vision and help others do the same. The silent thief can be stopped if we act today.